Previously on Factions. Today is the day that we raid the big man himself, Grazer 10. And boom, yeah, I actually saw There's Dry Obby. Dry. Yeah, yeah, we're in. The raid on Grazer is a success so far. 20%. Yes, got him, boys. I am taking their beloved cow spawners, and that'll wrap up our our partial raid of Grazer, but it's gonna be enough where hopefully we can get some bragging rights on this guy. Hey, what's up guys, Gavin Rasha here. Welcome back to Factions. Ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for tuning into this show every single day, making it a part of your daily routine. We really do appreciate it. And today I start off uh, the episode with none other than Wild X and Curtis. How are you gentlemen? Great. I'm pretty good, dude. You're How good. Are you? Good to hear, boys. I'm great. I'm great. And you know why I'm great, ladies and gentlemen? Because today we got a response from Mojang, and it's a positive response. It really Ooh. is. So we're gonna start this episode right away and uh, basically announcing what's going on. So we got a response from Mojang, and if you don't know, the Archon right now is uh, is blacklisted for being joined because we were not Eula compliant, and we have. Made our efforts now to become you the compliant, and they are now aware of this. And in today's video, we just got to show, uh, we got to show off one more thing, and that is basically that ranks, uh, you know, uh, just an example, like, uh, I can't even think, director, say the director rank, or the, uh, what, what else is there, slash kit, the general rank, Perfect. supervisor rank, etc., that these are all achievable for every single player through in-game ways. Basically, uh, for us to be EULA compliant and for people who have already purchased ranks in the past to be able to keep their ranks, we have to have a way here on the Archon for every single new player that joins and player who currently plays to have a way to earn these ranks without buying them on uh, shop.thearchon.net because that will no longer be possible now that we are EULA compliant. So, we're going to be showing it off to you, ladies and gentlemen, showing how it's going to work, etc., as this is the first time you're hearing about it, and showing this off to Mojang as well, and just proving that we're, we're complying, etc. So we're going to get that get to that right now, right away, and I got Curtis in here to help me explain how it works. So, Curtis, first off, where am I going, dude? Am I going to Warp Shop here? Um, okay, so it is in Warp Shop, but I've added a direct warp to it, which is forward slash Warp Rank Up. Warp Rank Up. So if you want to get to this thing on any server, Warp rank up so i type that and it takes me right here there's a lot of people i'm gonna probably have to go and <laughs> yeah. i'm probably gonna have to go with slash v here as everyone seems to be covering the signs and everyone's freaking out they don't know what's going on because we we've just recently added this but basically you can see right here beside this guy there is a sign that is being blocked that's here you go. i'll I'll set a sign just for you. So if you want to TP to me. Oh, oh, oh special treatment, dude. But basically, these two <laughs> signs are right here in Warp Shop. We're just going to do a demonstration outside of shop. Um, uh, so you guys can see the sign better. So we come up here and you can see it right here. It's a sign that says rank upgrade in teal letters. And basically how it works, Curtis, if I'm correct, you basically, there's only one sign, right? So you start off. Yeah. Right away, you can buy a rank, such as the $20 rank or the old $20 rank, which on this server uh, would be the worker rank. You could buy this for in-game currency. Now, right now, I've got slash balance 4.5 million. Just for uh, demonstration purposes, I will buy this right now. So, Curtis, just to make this clear, I am already designated. We did some testing earlier. I have already purchased, because of testing, the $20 rank, the worker kit. So when I am about to rank upgrade, I click the sign. I'm already considered a $20 donator here on this server. And I click rank upgrade and it's a confirm. I come to here and it says the attendant rank, which would be the $50 rank. It cost me $6 million in game money. Now, whether you think that price is too much, too low, obviously we're going to have to do some adjusting as we, uh, you know, see how this changes the economy within the Archon, etc. Basically, our goal is to make it so we have the same amount of players with ranks as we did before we were EULA compliant. You know what I mean? Just so it, just so it keeps the Archon economy the same as everyone is used to, etc. So right now, it would be $6 million, which I can just not afford i've actually added money to my balance just to demonstrate this but right now i'm sitting around 4.5 so i would just be under a little bit and uh and yeah so six million dollars in-game money confirmed purchase and boom the camping rusher has just ranked up to attendant slash warp rank up it broadcasts it lets everybody know and it shows everybody else how to do a rank up and that's 
is our way here on the Archon uh, of giving an equal chance and a, a fair way of everybody to basically get ranks that will no longer be available in the Archon shop, shop.thearchon.net. They will now just be available through in-game uh, through in-game purchases and in-game ways. We may add even different ways you can get ranks in the future that will make it still equal for all players. And that that's everything, Curtis, right? Uh, yeah, and I would also like to note that these ranks are permanent, which is why they're expensive. They don't reset on map resets. Yeah, yeah. So they are permanent. So, yeah, with that being said, you know, whether the, you think the price is high, low, etc., Basically, we want to make it, you know, fair for everybody. Also, at the same time, the people who did purchase ranks before uh, the Archon was EULA compliant, these people spent real money on the server to get this benefit. You know what I mean? So they, they've bought this, and we want to make it at least a, a, a decent grind for people to be able to get these higher ranks, to get these ranks, to compete with those people who spent real money. So obviously still achievable, $6 million. I mean, I think one season I got up to $180 million. So $6 million is very achievable, and it just depends how bad you want it, how much you want to grind. And that is the way of the future with Minecraft servers is people who play more and who are actually better skill wise at the game and grind more, etc. They're going to be the ones that are rewarded for what they do. So yeah. Anything else you got Curtis to uh, demonstrate that that's kind of what it is right there. Our first, uh, I guess, EULA compliant edition. We got a ton of new updates coming for you guys revolving around the EULA, etc. Some that don't even revolve around EULA that are just cool, freaking awesome gameplay updates. Uh, but other than that, for now, Curtis, is that everything? That's, that's everything, yeah. That's everything. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, there it is. Uh, we wanted to demonstrate that. One for Mojang and one for you guys, uh, for you players on the Archon. And hopefully we'll be... Uh, we still aren't unblacklisted yet. we got to send uh, one more email with... Uh, and hopefully they'll watch this video or we'll, we'll send them some proof, etc. of what's going on with the Archon. And then from there, we're, we're hoping to be unblacklisted from there. Again, it's, it's looking good. It's looking good. Remember how I said patience is key? Well, it's, uh, it's rewarding us now, I think, guys. Patience is always good. Always a good virtue to have. And we really appreciate you guys being patient. Of course, as soon as the Archon is unblock listed, uh, assuming we are, we uh, will let you know right away. And I'll be a very happy man once I do. You you'll hear it, my boy. You probably hear it today. I I'm in a pretty good mood, man. I'm, I'm a pretty happy guy. But, uh, Curtis, if that that's all we need you for, buddy, so I'll let you get back to work, eh? We'll talk to you in a bit. I'll catch you later, dude. All right, see you later, Kurt. While you and I will move on to some uh, more factions related stuff today and that'll actually start out with Daily Factions column of the day coming in from Endless Gaming. He says, hip hip, I use this every time I raid. What a phrase. <laughs> Wild, you know what dude? The line what? is catching on. <laughs> Whether oh Napkin likes it or not, our new <laughs> raiding line is catching on. You guys know, most raids we've been doing, every time we shoot the cannon, we try and, you know, scream the first shot, hip, hip, it, it designates the start <laughs> of our raid. I don't know, something that we, uh, we actually saw it in a YouTube video, and it is, uh, it's the most hilarious thing I've ever, I don't know, it makes me laugh every time, man, it really does. So I'm glad it's catching on, apparently people are liking it, <laughs> so I definitely had to choose this comment. Hope your rating's going well, Endless Gaming, and, uh, and thanks for the comment, man. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, super excited, super happy, hopefully I'll have some more good news for you in tomorrow's Factions episode, we will see. Other than that, thank you so much for being patient, we got a cool episode planned for you today. The Wild and Brayden show is really what it is today, Mitch, uh, Mitch isn't around. <laughs> man, we, we gotta get Mitch back at the show, man, I, I don't know what's going on, I miss that guy, dude. I mean, I still see him, he's just, hasn't been around for, for uh, Factions videos, etc. But either way, you and me, Wild, let's go kick some butt today. Wild, don't worry. I'm ticked off too. I see it in those eyes. I see it in those god dang sunglasses covered eyes. Yesterday, we were embarrassed. Both of us. We oh, were yeah. embarrassed in front of our entire faction's audience. We were embarrassed with ourselves. Because some faction that we had never even heard of before set up, set up a trap. And apparently outsmarted me because I e pearled right into that trap. And we both died and lost everything. It was a sad day. It was a really sad day. I also got a, an egg cracked on my head. So you win some, you lose some, <laughs> oh, yeah. man. 
And this was actually two days ago. See? Messed with my memory so much, I, uh, <laughs> I don't even remember what day it was. But either way, Wild, we have located the problem. You remembered where the trap was, thankfully. And you allowed us to find out that the people who set this trap, the ones who are responsible for killing us, is a faction called Dissolution or Dissolution. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. It doesn't matter. So we did some looking around and we thought, you know what? We're angry. Revenge is our middle name. How do we find these people and punish these people? We easily got TPs to different parts there. Well, not not into their bases, but at, to their bases. And we got to their main base, and Napkin's not around tonight, so we weren't able to take that one down. They actually had a, a fair amount of walls on it. But then we also heard word that they had a, a farm of sorts, or a, a place where the mods stored some items or some stuff, but also had a big cactus farm. So we came to this area. <coughs> We are here right now, and again, Napkin's not here. So when Napkin's not here, we've got to improvise. And you know without Napkin, Wild and I aren't the best raiders in the world, so we're not going to be able to go through much. So we came over here, and we, we've already checked this out. They've got about four or five wet walls here that leads into this base of theirs. And right now, I don't know, they, do they have anyone online right now, Wild? Oh, they've got two people online. They've got Mixed Rise and F Jam Zune. Even though I don't know if these guys were directly involved with killing us yesterday, they were the ones who made the trap and we deemed them responsible. So we were looking around. Usually, ladies and gentlemen, with bases that have less walls, I, you've seen it before in the faction show, there seems to always be a mistake, right? Well, there seems yeah. to always be a mistake, whether it's the corners, not, uh, the corners aren't watered or they missed a block here or there. Well, this one... Beats all those other ones because it's got two mistakes on it. And we'll show you both of them. And we don't know if... We, we haven't tried them. So hopefully there's no glitch layers or anything that we're unaware of. Because then it won't work. I don't know the exact side it's on Wild. So do you want to go down that side? I'll go down here. Or is, or do you know it's down here? I, I don't know where it is at all. So Okay, we'll head down here. It, it's, it's down, ladies and gentlemen, on one of these sides. Um, it's on two different sides, I think. Opposite sides are both errors with this thing. So we're gonna go down, check it out. I'm already losing some frames, I think, from the, the cacti in there, dude. It, it, it's apparently a big cactus farm. And our goal today is revenge, is to spend anything we can to destroy as much as we can of the people who killed us yesterday. Get our revenge. They made us lose a lot of stuff, so we're going to make them lose a lot of stuff right back. Wild, the one I was looking for at first here was on the whole other side. I did like a full rotation, man. <laughs> Not really. uh, but regardless, so here's the first one. The first one is some weird water gen glitch. I, I don't even know how this would occur, Wild. Do you know? A sponge, maybe? I don't know. I Yeah, I... Oh, like, that'd be, like, kind of weird. I don't I know. I know, this would be a weird thing for a sponge to happen. But either way, this leaves it vulnerable for a creep reg. A rather difficult sea egg, I think this will be wild, but I think we should be able to pull it off, probably, eh? Yeah, I don't have any creep rags, so... I've got 13 to start. If we need more, we're gonna have to go buy more. So how do we do it, you think? Start from the right and punch it in, or do we drop it down? What do you think? I think, uh, drop it here, and then we punch it Punch upwards. it up? All right, all right, all right. Heads up, dude. Let me take care of this. All right, dude. All right. Oh, that was actually pretty close. That was close. <laughs> I think I got to go a bit yeah. later. Oh, Ooh, yeah. second uh, try, yeah. baby. Good call. And we're actually in. We're in something, but this doesn't look like it's going to work. Either way, loot these chests. Is there this this part looks like it's raided or either yeah. unused. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's quickly check these. Oh, yo, they got confusion one. And you know the plan. Well, I don't care. Oh, they got thief three. Blast one. I don't even want. I don't even know if I want to take any of this wild, but you know I'll the plan, the dude. You'll take what? The beacon. That's the meth top value. Oh yeah, yeah. Beacon's beacon good money, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take that. Right, what were you saying? Well, the point of this raid again today is to, you know, even if we don't have to take everything, anything that even looks valuable, any item here is getting destroyed is is basically my uh my theory for today. So let's start that. Yeah right Whoa. now Ooh, that <laughs> looks rather dreadful my friend i'm glad i'm not you guys oh <laughs> revenge is sweet wild heads up bro lock and load 
And oh there God. it is. There it is, dude. That's a start, eh? That's a good start. We'll let that stuff despawn. And yeah, take that flint and steel. Might as well, man. We might yeah. need that. Um, any Anything in this lobby? It's only... I'm wondering if there's chests in this thing. I'll see if there's any entrances to it quickly. Probably not. Anything on this side? No. Okay, okay. So this was the first error. Thank God there's two errors, Wild, because we need to be up there, I think, yeah. right? Yeah, there's like kind of... Like not like there's obby missing. See well, that's that? what I mean. Like this, look it up there. There's obby missing there. There's obby missing there. Like it's such a almost like a glitch. Like I don't know. Like are they even using this thing anymore? I don't know, man. Um, but regardless, we're not gonna be able to do that, right? Unless we use an ender pearl cob cobweb strategy, which might work. But I don't. I don't let's not try that. <laughs> well, like no, like it's their land claim. You can't even place cobwebs. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. You can't wait. What's <laughs> Yeah, no. Wait, isn't there something that Vems used to do, though, where he'd climb, you know, when you e-pearl into the end and you climb with cobwebs? I don't know. You'd e-pearl in cobweb? I don't know. I feel like there was a strategy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. And here is the other area that was weird here. The, another error in their build. They seem to have misplaced endstone or someone had already been in here or through here. I'm not too sure. Um, oh, I, I was about to, I was about to say, dude, there's nothing here, what we were looking at before, but it's on the other side, dude, I was totally looking the wrong way, wild <laughs> find it, so found it, so I TP'd to him, uh, alright, so just EPRO right in, of course, and this brings us inside this area, now, we haven't been in here yet, wild, so what are we looking at, I'm seeing obby and ice, potential sea eggs right there, um, I'm already seeing a sea egg right here that I need to drop, because we're blowing up everything. So Obby is underneath, so this must have been the Obby we saw from below, right? Yeah, I'm gonna guess, yeah. So I guess the cactus farm must be above here, eh? There's wood. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that would make sense if the cacti farm is up here. If it still even exists. I mean, they still have it claimed. It looks a little messy in here, though. I'm trying to understand. So, uh, what are we seeing here? What are we seeing? Water's draining down. There's even a hole right there, it looks like, dude. Uh, it doesn't matter though. I think we just need to see egg anywhere, right? Yeah, probably. It might be like game glitch, like because I was hitting this with like a uh, efficiency five, and I can like see in there now. Oh, so is there cacti farm in there? <laughs> Anything? Yeah, yeah, it's a huge cactus farm. Just see egg right there, I think. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, let me do this. Let me do this. Oh, All boys, right. boys, we're in, we're in. Holy crap, this thing is massive too, dude. Oh, you go down here, dude. Let's just go in through the hoppers. Oh, yeah, let's look at their collection area as well. Holy lord, we're gonna have to do a little bit of damage up there, dude. I don't know how much we can really inflict on that thing, though. All yeah. right, let me uh, slap uh, them right here. Sea egg out. And we'll just have to go through the, the hoppers here, boys and girls. I got five sea eggs here, uh, everybody. Okay, that should be that should be good right there. I'll come down here and blow it up. Holy crap, that's a lot of cacti, dude. <laughs> Okay, we gotta make sure we get it. Oh, no, we're out. We're out. We're out. We're leaking. We're leaking, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, they yeah. got a little storage room in here as well, buddy. Look oh for anything God. good again. Oh, Thunderous <laughs> 3. Scoot 3 book in here. You got Scoot 3? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go, boys. Woo. I like that. I like that a lot, dude. <laughs> All right, Scoot 3. Oh, they got special kit, dude. Special kit boots. Another Thunderous 3 special kit chest plate. It's almost like they're repaying us for yesterday's death without the enchants, though. I mean, Scoot 3 is good, though. Thunderous 3 is good as well. I'll get a few more E-Pearls just because. Scoot uh, 2 inside here. You got Scoot 2. Grab it all. Supervi I just grabbed some supervisor gear. Grab what we want and grab... Oh, I see TNT. And, ooh, they got a lot of TNT here, too, dude. I'm getting enough stuff where I got to go back to base, man. This ain't bad right, at all. Oh my god. This makes it better, dude, because I, you know, obviously we were genuinely, uh, genuinely ticked off with what went down, uh, you know, us getting killed. That was slightly embarrassing, Wild. We got, we got <laughs> handled out there by this faction's trap. They, they showed us up. They really did. So with that being said, I want to, uh, I don't know. It feels good to be taking some stuff from them. All right, let me deposit this gear. I'll also deposit, uh, not in there. I'll deposit it in, in there. Some TNT. And it's a little messy, I know, but that's all right. Like that slash back. You find anything else good in here yet? Um, not really. Just some TNT. Yeah, I, steals. yeah. I'm seeing TNT as well. This ain't bad at all, buddy. This ain't bad at all. Check those two chests. I forget oh. which chests I've checked. Anything else? Special kit with health boost on it. No, special special health helmet, boost two yeah. helmet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ladies. Oh, dude. Warlord kit prop four. 
Holy crap, dude! This thing's not bad! I'm loving it! I'm loving it! Diamonds! Yeah, did you grab health boost too? Um, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Nice, dude. Good find, buddy. Good find. And that, Speed Pearls 3, that'll basically wrap it up here, dude. That's, uh, that's not... <laughs> I'm so impressed, man. I thought we were going to go in this cacti farm and destroy as much as we can, which we're still going to do, of course. But they've actually got more stuff than just that. They actually had some storage going on here, it looked like. Uh, supervisor. I'm just grabbing some more supervisor gear here, ladies and gents. And that should do it. A little bit more TNT. And that's it, dude. Ooh, what's here? Yo, they got 19 gas eggs as well, buddy. What? Really? I was just in those, Jess. Yeah, dude, you missed it. That's why I, I always so, double yeah. checked. As your mentor, I'm always double checking. You know what I mean? <laughs> I always got yeah. your back, making sure you're not missing. They got grind two swords. You missed here, buddy. What's going on, man? Yeah, I wasn't really. In I saw those. I didn't see the gas eggs though. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That now is everything. So I've got three sea eggs left. We might buy more if there's more on AH, but uh, let's get to work, dude. None of this gets to live, man. Holy oh. crap. <laughs> Let's just make this place a living heck for these people who've got nothing. You know, they got to rebuild all this. They got to rebuild this messiness. We're going to log off an alt in here. They are never going to use this cactus farm again without being interrupted by nameless allyship and uh, ally members and, and faction members here. All right, let's, last sea egg goes right there. Blow it up. And ooh, that is Whoa, just that's a lot of cactus. That's a lot of cactus right there, buddy. Okay, sweet. All right, I am now out of sea eggs. Let's see the AH, see if they got any. We're definitely gonna have to do a gas egg raid once again here, my friend. Dude, we got 19 <laughs> of these things to use now. Um, so there's six sea eggs up in AH right now for a combined total of 800 grand. That's insane. So we will uh refrain from doing that. You've got your kit though, you can use, right? Um, yeah, I got kit special, dude. Yeah, right okay. Here. Tap I that on I once. Like a, yeah. What? Yeah, I use like inventory, so. All right, use yeah. that. I see him. I see him. I see him. All right, I got him, buddy. I got him. Okay, so oh, yeah. with three more sea eggs, I say we blow up some more chests. I mean, I, this is where it'd be nice to have a cannon, but really, dude, I don't think we just don't have enough money or anything to do to actually do any damage to their cacti farm, eh, dude? Um, yeah, I doubt it. But, not really. Uh, yeah, not really worth it. I'd say I, I'd rather do it here because now it messes up their collection area and they lose all their items. Like, this sucks to have to clean up. Let's be honest, man. This sucks. And I don't know. And, and then they're losing every single item they had in here as well. And all the cactus that had built up. So I think this is the best way to harm them with the resources that we got, dude. This was a really successful revenge attack, I think, dude. Holy yeah. crap, eh? I wish we could kill them though. I know. I wish we could too. Honestly, if they're are they they're online, aren't they? You want to call them out in chat? Let's call them out in chat. Let's try yeah. something. I just yeah, I, I want to. I'm trying to beef with these guys as much as we can, ladies and gentlemen, because they, they you know we said it a couple times here. I've said it a couple times. They ticked us off a little bit, and they just made us look like fools, man. Um, there's yeah. only one of them on right now. Let's let's see if he's on. Definitely AFK wild. I message him. No response, dude. This guy's been on for a while, too, as we've been planning this, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't think he's going to respond well. We might, be not, we might not be able to get our, our PvP revenge right away, dude. But what have I always said? Patience is key. And it's paid off in the past. And it'll pay off now, dude. Either way, Wild, very successful. Uh, let's just take a quick look around. I would say this is the start. Who knows? I'm not going to prioritize this faction for a main raid as we've got a lot of big enemies to deal with on F top. But this may not be the end, Dissolution, or however you pr pronounce your name. You embarrassed us big time. You made us look like fools. And we are going to do everything in our power to make you pay. Nice job today, Wild. I'm feeling good. Revenge feels sweet. I'll say that right now. It really does. Um, all right. To end off today's episode, the Wild and Braden Bro episode, the Bro episode, the Bro episode, <laughs> the Bro episode. Nope, not. I like that. That, that doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't you don't work. Think so? I don't think so, man. Um, so. I know at the start we talked a, a lot of stuff there. I, I tried to get it out as quick as I could because, uh, you know, again, the, the Mojang representative might still be watching now, but I assumed um, they'd just be watching the start of it, so I just didn't want to take up too much of their time and get through it and demonstrate the proof as fast as I could. Um, but here at the end of the video, we're going to do two things. One, 
money is going to become more valuable on the Archon if you haven't already noticed. Obviously now, money is important, right? You can buy basically anything on the Archon with money, but now, with people like in the battle top, right? We've got, okay, other than Curtis, he doesn't count, but Quemsy, Quemsy's at, is that 97 million he's got? Yeah, Quemsy's got 97 million dollars. So, you know, people on the F top have saved up all this money, etc. Are they going to do that anymore? Or are they going to spend this type? Because that type of money will buy you some of the big time ranks. And that was kind of the idea. Like I said at the start, we want kind of the same amount of people and the same spread of people to have ranks that had it before the EULA compliance came out. Just again, to keep the uh, the economy as, as, the, as equal and as the same as it was before. So with that being said, money is be going to become way more valuable. Is it worth it to save or is it worth it to spend it on a rank, etc.? So, with that being said, I will go show you one other thing here. I'm still in V. I just wanted to demonstrate here. So, here are the actual signs in shop again slash warp rank up. And if I try to click this, you will see you cannot afford your next rank yet. You need a total of $12 million for your next rank. So, the attendant rank costs uh, $6 million. And then for the next rank, which I, I, I am blanking. Uh, operative, right? Is it operative? Yeah, operative rank is a uh is just double that so it's 12 million and then it goes up from there etc so it is a pretty big increase but keep in mind ladies and gentlemen rank to rank is a lot of stuff you get from these ranks and it adds on right so now that i bought the you know earlier in today's episode i bought the 50 dollar rank and so now i have both i've got the kits for the 20 dollar and i've got the kits for the 50 dollar if i were to buy this with 12 million dollars I would now have the kits for the $100 rank, and it keeps stacking until you get to the $350 rank. Um, as soon as you get that, it eliminates all the other ones, and you just get the $350. We may change that. We may not, depending on the community response. Uh, but for now, it's like that. Because once you get to the $350, that rank is freaking OP, so it doesn't really matter. But I, I don't know. We may change that. That's just, again, this was kind of rushed. We just wanted to get this proof out there, and... Uh, Make sure it was up and running and working and we were fully EULA compliant. That was the goal. But wild. With this in mind, money is very important, right? So, with the crate key win, plus the Ben mascot deal, I've got eight iron golem spawners sitting around right now in my e-chest. Now, the good guy thing to do here for my faction would be to put these up in Zach's box and allow everyone to grind with them. Or the selfish side in me is saying sell them both right now in AH <laughs> because money is going to be so important as you guys are going to soon realize over the coming weeks here on the Archon in-game money is going to be so important. So with that being said, I should probably, well, I'm going to. I'm going to be a little selfish here. I mean, I earned these things, guys. This was a huge deal for me, man. Winning that crate key, holy crap, that was huge. And uh, and just to point out, with the crate keys, I don't know if we should spin one today or not because technically they're not even available in store and, and they never will be again, or at least that type of them. We may have a way to do it in the future. We'll see. Uh, a EULA compliant way, at least. But for the time being, we may refrain from spinning crate keys. Uh, again, just, you know, just don't want to step on anyone's toes. And I want to just make sure we're doing things right here. We're learning uh, as lots of other servers are here. And just, you know, just want to make sure we're doing what Mojang wants. Because that is the end goal here is to work with them. So, with that being said, though, these, these two IG spawners, well, we, uh, how much should I sell these things for, dude? Because they're $5 million F top value, right? How much do you think someone's willing to spend for these bad boys? Maybe five million dollars. I don't care. Okay. You actually think five <laughs> mil? I don't know about nah. five mil, Matt. Maybe uh, yeah. Three mil. You think three? I was th okay. I was thinking two point five. You're thinking? I, I I mean I guess we'll put it up for three. If they don't sell by tomorrow, then we'll uh, we'll take them back. How's that sound? All right, dude. Or is three even gonna sell? Uh, two. I'm doing two point five. I don't think it'll sell at three. Two point five million just because f top value is not as valuable as money value and and that's kind of the point of this sale anyway so why would people spend so much money on an ig when they need the money for other stuff so let's do 2.5 million because obviously the f top value race is still a big deal so ah sell 2.5 million ah sell 2.5 million if things work out i come back tomorrow with five million dollars extra in my bank account 
that would put me uh, at like 10 million freaking dollars, dude. Holy crap. Uh, but that being said, that will actually wrap up today's episode of Factions, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of talking and demonstrating and looking at new things, but honestly, super exciting time for me. I'm super excited to announce all this stuff and just hopefully things work out and we are back up and running fully pvp.thearchon.net within a day or two. That is the goal. And uh, I'm going to get this video up probably privately for the Mojang uh, representative and hopefully they can see it right away. Either way, thank you so much again for being patient. I know I've said it a, a thousand times, but you guys are the best uh, best viewers in the world, and I really do appreciate it. I love you guys for sticking with me, supporting us, and uh, we're going to work hard to make it up to you for the downtime. We've got some really cool ideas coming your way, so so get ready for that. Recent five donors, the Archon, all tags, of course. Fifth V5, Barax Rifle, Finch, the Exotic, and Arabio. Thank you for continuing to support the Archon. You're all amazing. I hope to have more good news for you tomorrow. Other than that, I hope you all have a good day. Touch that like button if you enjoyed. Join the rushes by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And we'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.